Okay, so for the scramble, I don't know the CSP, so I just did my normal cube shape. Turn it into shield kite. Then I get an easy EO case, and I should have cancelled into this, but I just got the four edge case. And then here I saw that after doing the CP alg, I would get op op. So I just went right into the alg that also solves the equator. So on the scramble, I've got right fist, right pawn, and my starting positions are going to be from this white corner clockwise and this edge and then clockwise. And so I'm going to start with white edges. I've got blue, orange, red, which is one parity. Black edges, blue, orange, red, which is two parodies. Uh, white corners, blue, orange, green, no parity. Um, black corners, blue, orange, red, three parodies. And then all positioned edges, I've got this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. That's two white edges, so that's still three parodies. And finally, for odd position corners, I've got this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner, and that's three white corners. And so that brings the parity up to four, which is even. So pretty much, I'm going to um, move this fist over like this to pair this L up with the pawn like so. And then I can move this pair over in the back and solve pawn pawn like this. Then I have this easy two slice seal, which I can just do immediately like so, into a really easy EO. And finally, the ideal solution um, is to misalign the top and do JJ, and then I get, get NN. That's just the two CPP build case. But I find this case like really hard to recognize because these are G perms, and G perms are just really hard to recognize if uh, you don't have the bars in front of you. Um, so I'd probably do like a U2, D2, and then um, probably do like JJ from the back, or maybe I'll just do, um, I'll miss the bottom and do JJ, and then this will just give me good U perms. I think either way, the solutions are both pretty good, but I think the ideal one would be the 2CP PBL one, uh, at least in terms of slice count. But yeah, uh, I guess that's the solve. Okay, so here's the scramble. I'm gonna start here and solve this two group over to the L here. So I get paw paw like this. And I'm gonna solve paw paw. And when I'm here, I see that the, all four black cones in the top just go straight into my CEO like this. And then I have this 3 3 EO solved like this. I notice my bars are here and here for CP. And then I have this PBL where if I misalign both. Uh, by issue and do J perms, I get this SS, which is a pretty nice art. Okay, so I traced odd and uh, I solved CSP like this. I looked ahead to that corner and that bar, uh, so I solved CO like this. Then D2 prime, U2 prime, EO alg, D prime, and U. So I saw AG. I preserved this block, this block, sorry, and just did JJ. U prime, D2, EP. I traced odd. So I'll do cube shape like this. But before I finish cube shape, I'll see these four black corners on top. So after cube shape, I can go straight into CO. EO. And then I have two G perms. So if I, uh, I can misalign this layer and do JJ. And I get an A. Okay, so for this CSP, uh, you can do it in five slices, which would go like this. And then you can do a two slice CO like that. And you've got three, three EO. And then pretty nice six slicer, easy. Should go like this. Equator flip, and you're done. 
Okay, so what I did for this is I traced odd for CSP, and that's the good alg, so I just set it up to um, shield kite like that, and then solve shield kite. Then I had one slice CO into 4-4. Four, four. I could have canceled right here by aligning that, but I didn't I, I didn't see that, so I just did that into 4-4. Four, four. And then I had DD, and how I solve this is I just do JJ straight into op op, just like that. 590. Okay, so for this shape, after CSP, uh, you want to move this two block over here. So I move this thing away and move this two block like that. And then from here, it's just paw paw. Then CO and then EO. And I noticed that all the corners are already solved. And then we get a HU, which I know how to do. Yeah. Okay, um, so on this scramble, um, got an alright cube shape case. So, start by bringing this L up here, and then combining it with that. Then I bring this, sh this shield over here. Do that. Solve a square, and I've just got shield square, which is really simple. Um, and then I've got CO, then EO, just a line. Okay, and here I've got a really easy PBL, so I just do an edge edge back here. And I've got edge edge for corners too, so yeah. So for this cube shape, what I would do, uh, I don't know if this is the most efficient solution, but I would do a slice here, misaligned by two, and a slice back. And then I have this case, which the way I do it is a slash, because uh, these two will come down here to make a square, and this will come up here to make a shield. Shield square like this. Again, I don't think that's the most efficient solution, but it's, but it's the solution that I do want to solve. And then I have this nice one slice CO, and I can tell that these two will stay here, these white will move up here to make four, and these will also make four. So that's four, four. What I can actually do is misalign these two just to have two, two. But in a solve, I'd probably, but in a solve, I'd probably just do this. And then I would do CO, like that. And then a U2. So I see I have no parity, and I have a JSON on bottom, and I don't know what the shape is called, but it's like a T perm, J perm kind of thing on top. I know that if I misalign here and I do the alg, I will get opposite adjacent, which in my opinion is a very, very bad EP. If I don't misalign, this will become a W and I'll have W adjacent, which I like a lot more. Also, I believe that it's a lot more slice optimal, or maybe not a lot more, but it is more slice optimal. And then just this case. And I know that this will be a U2 for AUF. And then U2B. Hi, it's Linus. And in this soul, I would do cube shape. Um, yeah, I would do it by making it to shield square, and then solve uh, that. And then I would do CO like this to also get EO solved. And then for CP, uh, I know I'm gonna get uh, opposite on bottom and w, w perm on top, so I would do that and then solve EP, like so. Uh, for this cube shape case, I use five slices. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, then I see these two corners and these two corners. Uh, I solve CO, then I solve EO, and noticed that these corners solved EO. Um, then I see that I have U perm, and here it's parity. Uh, I know all CPP elks, and uh, I solve this CPP from this position, uh, and I know that this block will save. Do CPP, and uh, this side solved, and here I have only U perm. Thanks. All right, so this is the cube shape. It's fist pawn, and I traced even. I'll just go over how I trace. Uh, orange, orange, blue, red. Uh, orange, blue, red. 
blue, red, blue, orange, red. So one parity, blue, red, orange. Uh, one, two, one, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. So that's two parodies. Um, so I do this alk. I turn it into a uh, kite shield and then I do the even alk. Then here, I'm not the best at doing CO, so I just did one slice and then did that. I tried to cancel into 4-4, four, four, but whatever. Then here, I saw because of this in these two corners, I knew I have like this thing in the back. So if I knew if I just misaligned the bottom, I'd get op off with uh, bar float. So I did that, op off, bar float, and then you too. Okay, so this is the cube shape. It's two slices to uh, I forget what this is called, but yeah, from this angle there isn't really anything you can do. You can do that. That might be the CSP solution, but I don't use CSP. So then from there, uh, I would probably do that. Now for CO, I look at my like top color instead of my bottom color. Don't know if that's better. I know in some cases looking at the bottom color can be better. Like I guess for example Martin's world record single, uh he preserved the bottom. But yeah anyway, what I would do is I'd move this to the side and then I can connect these and then could, could preserve that edge if I wanted to, but I wouldn't do that in a solve and it give the same EO anyway. Now I can predict that CP solved on the top and an adjacent swap on the right. I'm gonna do the alg. And here we have OJ. <laughs> I don't know this. And it's a parody PBL anyway, so I'll just do J on bottom into O on top. Then, yeah, that's just all. So for CSP tracing, I traced odd, and so I executed my cube shape like this. And that turns the cube shape into pon pon, and then I just solve that. And then here I kind of panicked when I got to CO. Um, I think my solution was okay, but my execution was pretty bad. My general idea was to pair this corner with this one down here while bringing this bar up and then just solving the two bars on top. And then for EO I saw I had 3-3 three, three, and I saw I have solved corners here and then diag on top. So I did EO. And then I actually know this PBL case that I got. I have E, Z, so I just did the alg and I have to cancel into bar flip. So I did the alg like this, and then cancel into bar flip. 7.75.